welcome to my channel. Let's explore the mystical realms and get ready to receive a timeless message specifically crafted for the intuitive souls of Pisces. Pisces, if you're new to my platform, thank you for tuning in. Please hit that subscription button. It would totally mean the world to me. Keep in mind that the energy of this reading transcends time and you've stumbled upon it exactly when the universe has intended. As we each embark upon our own unique personal journey, remember that this message is pre-recorded, yet its resonance is attuned to the present moment. Let your intuition be your guide and trust it as you listen. For those of you who continue to support my channel monetarily and energetically over the years by liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, and continuing to watch my videos, you are greatly appreciated. May you live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. Let's all join in and unlock the secret magic that the cards hold for us. All right, Pisces. So um, the vibe that I'm getting is somebody's window is short. Like something is happening and somebody only has a short period of time to do it in. Or somebody has a short period of time to show up in. Or enact whatever it is, is also what I'm hearing. So opportunity we have here. So somebody's taking their opportunity. Um, also flight, and this thing is jumping. So somebody may be getting on a plane or wanting you to get on a plane. And then we have beehive and ardor. Um, so giving me something is sweet. What the hell does this mean? All right, give me one second. Let's see what this means, because I don't want to. A-R-D-O-U-R. Okay, I did pronounce it right. So the word is ardor, and it says, um, they felt the stirrings of revolutionary, of revolutionary. They felt the strings of revolutionary ardor. Enthusiasm or passion is what it means. All right. So let's see. A cosmic child. So you could potentially be a cosmic child. Um, passion or enthusiasm. So somebody's trying to take their opportunity. Somebody's hopping on the flight. Somebody's excited is what that shows. Oh, um when i was pre-shuffling these fell out because i was going to use this deck but these fell out specifically so i figured i would take them it says manifester and creation we also have thrive briety so that's tolerance like your tolerance to a situation um so somebody trying to manifest a situation somebody may have gone to a witch doctor but wisdom is also there significant or important so somebody may have gone to a travel to see a witch doctor about you. Um, we got silent retreat or silent. Somebody may want you to be silent or you may be being silent right now towards these people or these energies, not entertaining, not engaging. And then we have accountability. Somebody don't want to be account accountable for their actions or their responsibility in whatever situation this is, okay? So we got those cards um, I'm going to leave them there. Alright. What messages do you have for Pisces? What messages do you have for Pisces? Alright. What messages do you have for Pisces? Alright, Pisces. First thing we have is the tree. All right, so giving me the tree of life, um, wisdom, spirituality, and growth. The number seven, that could be March 7th. I feel like as the world turns, like things just progressing. Um, as you saw that cards like spin and kind of speed up a little bit. But growth and elevation. I'm also getting transformation with the butterfly being there. Um, or is that a moth? All right, I think that's a moth, and I don't know what moths are, but look that up. We have a masculine energy here, a male figure. Um, so the man, whoever the man is for you, 
Um, it could be a father figure. It could be a husband. It could be uh, the person that is coming in. Somebody that's coming into your energy. All right, we're going to leave that back there a little bit. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, so we have desire, ambition, deception. Also another tree here. Somebody trying to sow confusion um, is what that looks like, okay? So we got like some type of energetic pull that seems to be happening here. Um, we have the bear, so there's a bear here. And the number's 10, so that's March 10th. Um, February 28th, March 5th, and March 15th. Somebody could be 51 years old or born in 51, but that card right there says masculine and current. Then we have leadership and power and strength. So somebody trying to assert their dominance over a situation or somebody trying to control a situation. Um, we got deception here. So desire, ambition, and deception. Mm. So some type of sneaky behavior. It's almost like instead of somebody trying to, you know, get you to do something or ask you to do something, they're trying to manipulate their way. I'm going to say an opportunity into an opportunity. Um, somebody thinks your life is sweet. We got the beehive here. We also have the mermaid of immersion, complete commitment. Somebody wants to offer you a complete commitment, but why is the person trying to be sneaky? Um, the number is 44. You could be 44 years old um, or somebody, that person, you know, something, somebody around you significant or important. Um, again, I don't know what that stutter is because, you know, somebody may have a speech impediment. We have the beautiful little worm. Take care of yourself. So somebody wants, you to, wants to take care of yourself and you are not a victim after everything that you have gone through. Find solutions in unknown places in the darkness. So everything that you have gone through, it's almost like you being able to, like, you love yourself or uh, you able to be alone, something like that. But they're saying, take care of yourself. You're not a victim. Um, somebody is on the way. They want to offer you a complete commitment or taking flight is also given, like, um, an adventure. So maybe taking off on an adventure. And I know this is probably random as I don't know what, because for some reason, I feel like it's just a bunch of information, a bunch of randomness. Um, somebody may not have actually figured out how they're going to do this, but somebody, okay, because that father is giving me like a real stern like ass look right here. So... I feel like somebody wanting to do something the right way and maybe it pertains to your father and they may be thinking like, you know what I'm saying, this person, because somebody's like old school. And so the old school version of this is you got to go to the father to ask for the, you know, the female or so somebody may be engaging in that type of activity or having to go through that um, in order to get to you, which seems to be an honorable trait. Okay, but somebody's confused about the situation, so we're going to leave that there. Um, tradition, and then I'll say that, so traditionally, that's the way the relationship would go. And also something about the house being there, the house being significant or important. Um, that A house could be your physical house. It could be your body. It could also be like celestial sign. So um, right now, it's looking like parenting but for some reason this is giving me like real old school vibes so whatever this is looks like why is it giving me like okay because this card right here power leadership and strength but it's giving me like the the dominant male so somebody wants to be the dominant male so if i'm talking to you 
you're asserting yourself or you're because i hear imprint like somebody wants to imprint on you like a pack of wolves or something but there's like a bear trying to shelter this person so we got a lot of masculine energy around here where it's looking like i'm the protector i'm trying to keep you safe and meanwhile there's a snake circling the house right here so there's danger outside and they're trying to tell you don't try to go too far too fast somebody's trying to confuse you which is giving me now little red riding hood vibes all right somebody's trying to hold okay so we got seduction, allure, desire, and manipulation, which I told y'all there's some type of manipulation. Um, we got 12, March 12th, lead the way. Be a leader. Show others how it's done. You can help others. It's almost like your energy is um, the front runner. Like, they want you to be the leader. Or somebody don't believe you can be the leader because somebody, I think somebody believes in like... Uh, gender roles and because they're a male they feel like they should be the head but again it keeps giving me the vibe like apparently they don't realize like a female is actually being called to lead and that's just the way god put it but here on this realm it's basically causing or creating a problem because and I, I want to say, biblically speaking, it keeps going back to, like, they, them thinking that men are to, you know, men are, men are the head, not the tail. Men are supposed to lead, um, but they think that women can't lead. So, again, somebody's trying to manipulate a situation, but right now, God is in control. And regardless of what they think, I feel like the times are changing and things are going to get put into alignment adventure awaits go find it didn't i say something about an adventure already and now that card saying that so an adventure awaits uh, i feel like it's exploration and you figuring out who you are um who you're destined to be um and also the adventure along the way to kind of like break in social norms or something like stepping out it's like you're the breakout character of the situation um people may think that you're the because i hear somebody thinks that you're the underdog all right so we got poe here time for a change time to learn something new to use technology and gadgets with wisdom um drink your water pisces i feel like that is very much important i got some water right here because i feel like a situation is dehydrated like literally it's it needs to be uh, rejuvenated. Um, time for a change. Time to learn something new. Time to use technology and gadgets with wisdom. So the age of social media and uh, the internet. Uh, you can gain knowledge a whole lot faster. But for some reason, it's giving me time travel. Um, like you ascend it to a time when things are different so wherever you're from or wherever this you know the the old ways are from now we have stepped into a new day a new time a new century um and so things are a little bit different than it was back in the day and i think it's basically like People coming up with the times or changing with the times. All right, your commitment is being tested. So first quarter moon, your commitment to this situation is being tested. Are you going to continue to keep pushing forward? Um, and I also feel like people are trying to stop you. You are good enough, all right? You are good enough for this situation. Full moon in Virgo, but that's also giving me life cycles. Um... Conclusions are within we are within reach. Full moon eclipse. All right. So either way, the life cycles, the way things are going, 
Um, but either way, your commitment is being tested and are you going to succeed? It's almost like somebody trying to throw you off your square. Somebody trying to... Somebody don't want you to succeed, all right? Somebody wants you to give them time. Please give me time. I've never felt this way before. And if I ask you to stay, would you leave? Which is still giving me time travel. Like, you not blowing in this, on this realm. Because this is different. Um, listen to your heart. Or this is just a change. So, you starting something new. This is a change. Know why it's going back to masculine and female because it's it's giving me very much heavy on the gender roles like um the times changing and women being able to like men are still protectors like nobody's trying to take your role nobody's trying to take that role protect the the female that is in charge you see what i'm saying so for some reason i feel like there's a battle that's happening and it's because somebody's trying to thinking that you're trying to take their spot. You're not trying to take their spot. You are just you were born to lead. You're destined to lead, and either they can kind of sit on a side of you and you know kind of help you guide you through, or they could just get drugged. Because either way, it's going down that way. It's almost as if that's the way God is changing it, or that's the way. He, it's being ordained or set up to do. Um, somebody wants to know if you think about them. Um, do you think about me too? Is what that card says. So somebody wants to know if you think about them too. All right. Okay. So let's see. All right. So the cards that fell out are... Um, so we got 44 again, or 42. Somebody may be 44, somebody may be 42. Somebody may be 24 years old. Um, somebody wants to know what you want, and I lie awake thinking about our future, and somebody feels the same exact way as you do, okay? So somebody may also be 46, or actually born in 62 as well. So it looks like this camera wants to hang up on us. All right, so let me go ahead and get through this reading because we don't want it to hang up. Either way, I feel like it's like the the uh, changing of times because uh, I hear changing of the guards. So I think that's when one set comes in and one set goes out. So fall in love when you're ready, not when you're lonely. So... For some reason, somebody's also giving me the vibe like there's a person that's supposed to be there with you. Um, because I hear friends become lovers, and just because you're friendly with this person, don't mean that y'all have to be together. So, I don't know if this is the person that is being sent to help you or the person that you are connected to. But there's an opportunity that's being had, and somebody seems like they're trying to jump on it, trying to jump on a train, but they don't know how to insert themselves into the I hear madness <laughs> either way it be in time it's time all right let's see are you gonna keep pushing through rebirth and rejuvenation this card keeps coming out every time so rebirth and rejuvenation so restoration and also, before I started this, it kept being a thing about, like, water magic. So, drink your water, but also water magic. Look, healing healing waters. Um, it keeps being a thing about water magic. So, it's like rejuvenation, transformation, um, and just whatever water mag magic means for you. So, they're saying give love. I feel like that's like an energetic... Um, because I hear monumental. So that's monumental as far as, you know, things that are taking place and what's going on. We got affirmations for healing the heart. Um, make a move. And again, they're in water. So that's, water keeps being a thing. Accept love. 
um, and they also want you to speak your mind. And here it goes again, cleansing, cleansing your spirit, cleansing your body and your spirit. So definitely whatever this is, is pertaining to water. They want you to cleanse your body, your spirit, and also go with the flow, okay? So that's very much significant and important to all of this. Um, I'm sure you've been getting the messages as far as the water or whatever, you know, healing waters or whatever it needs to be or whatever is pertaining to you all right but either way water being important is significant and i feel like that's confirmation for somebody that more water more water magic is needed um you are a pisces so that means that you are a water sign and water is healing creativity and reflection so they would like for you to tap into it and also the lunar cycles. So, cause that is important as well. A lot of people use full moons to manifest, but I'm hearing you got it all the way around. Figure out what to do, all right? Um, we have an awakening here. So an awakening. I feel like an energetic pull on somebody. So that's also the thing. Like the moon cycles create energetic pulls on your body. Um, and also pertaining to water because your body is mostly made out of water. So in here um, we have winter. So watchtower of the north. Okay, so... I feel like that's related to which one of the signs. Okay, I don't took my um whichever uh astrological house is related to uh the north because I literally took my mirror upstairs. All right, we have guidance here. So guidance being significant or important, but they're basically trying to show you what to do, where to navigate uh which location to navigate or how to use everything together in connection um, in order to help you move into the next phase. All right, so guidance is key and your awakening apparently has happened or is happening. Um, and I feel like you're also being like, given more information during each cycle. So, I don't want to say the term like more awakening, but each, each, because it has cosmic child here. Remember, I told y'all that. Um, mm, and then currents, look, going with the flow again. So, why is that giving me like moon bathing or something or being out in the water, like in the ocean at nighttime? Um, but also like spiritual cleansing in the ocean. Hmm. All right. So somebody's giving me mermaid vibes because we also have mermaid here and then mermaid there. And I wasn't going to use these cards, but somebody's giving me that de definitely mermaid energy. So let's see what happens. So is that Poseidon? with butterflies so 30 and that would be transformation so somebody may be 30 years old um definitely transformation and i feel like definitely because it's giving me mermaid vibes like somebody um you've been in human form this whole entire time but you don't realize what you're connected to so mermaid picking lotus blossoms so get it out the mud 25 or 52. Somebody may be 25 years old or 52. That's also February 25th. Um, significant or important. I feel like things were not given to you easy. Um, so star, Stardust Angel here. We got February the 19th, February the 22nd, Jellyfish Portal. Um, 
that is related to that card where it was here uh finding things in a dark deep dark sea mermaid find solutions in the unknown places in the darkness 61 so somebody may be 61 years old so there may be an older person around here or march 16th significant or important you are not a victim why is it giving me some like kidnapping vibes 44 is here again and 17 so march 17th jeweled octopus um tiger lily tiger knotless all right so somebody is giving me vibes like as a baby or something you were placed with somebody so maybe somebody's adopted and you don't know where you come from but you have freaking mermaid energy mermaid dna um it's almost like a you were raised as a human being but technically you belong to a mermaid family or your father is because lately it's been a thing about the gods so we got neptune here illusions intuition and spirituality um and then not less so I, that's like the that shell that frequency of that shell um All right, so it feels like something that's related to the dream that I had, and it is giving me like everybody's coming home because I hear I'm coming home. So everybody's being called back to their location or to their people. We got Oya protection here, um, which is giving me like Zeus vibes because we got lightning bolt falling out the sky. Um, but that's also Taurus. It looks like a bull there. Um, so you may be dealing with a Taurus. We have uh, Iku Transformation and Beyond. Awa Aljana. Aljana. Um, either way, angels also being put back because it looks like these people are hugging or these people have found each other. So going beyond. And again, like I said, transformation. So lots of things happening as far as transformation autonomy and sing so somebody may be in the music industry or somebody is you know musically inclined a singer there um yeah everybody's giving me the vibe like for some reason everybody's being called back to their perspective places so wherever you belong at is where you're being called to um, like I said, music uh, or music. Okay. So music may be important, but your commitment is being tested. Your commitment has been being tested. Your commitment being tested to the family or to the situation. Um, this tower continues to rise. Somebody may have been born in 71 and that would also be 17. So somebody could be getting, uh, synchronicities inverted messages 17 17 or something happening in 17 17 but the tower here always expect the unexpected a collapse of upheaval destruction foundational shift a reality check ambition and adversity and we also have again some type of manipulation happening here so we got air signs and we also have fire signs origins interpretate interpretation or inspiration enlightenment beginnings um hmm. uh i feel like an investigation actually happening here again uh somebody's under investigation or somebody's trying to figure out if you are a person that belongs where you belong at so we got march 1st march 7th um because i hear placement your placement which would also be your astrological house and sign. So I don't know something about your boy, your okay, your boyfriend. Your birthday is significant or important, um, but maybe somebody wants to be your boyfriend or, as well, and you want to be somebody's boyfriend. All right, we got an Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, or maybe somebody questioning if you have a boyfriend. The time is right to take action in your, on your ideas. Prosperity, power, opportunity, manifestation, labor, and allure, okay? Um, new beginnings happening here. And that's 11 again. So, March 11th. But, uh, uh, 
master number. And these numbers can relate to you in any form or fashion, okay? So we got 10 here. Why does this card keep coming out too? The last couple of readings is towers and freaking ten of swords as if it's like, okay, so endings and completions, new starts. Um, it, has, then it, it ended, it has finished for better or for worse. For better or for worse always gives me marriage vibes. So some type of blend, a marriage is a blend. Um, it could be boyfriend, girlfriend. It could be uh, a marriage. It could also be... What's that? Um, a spiritual connection or union. Either way, ruin, defeat, failure, isolation, uh... Speaking many words and hopelessness. What's the word when basically a person, they're not married, but a uh, common law, common law marriage. So y'all been together for a long time or this situation has been coming together for a long time. Either way, we got an empress here. We got judgment, a king of wands, a queen of cups, the lover's card, things changing and happening quickly. Um, so you may have done something quickly or something happening very quickly, but either way, there's endings happening. Be happy with the results of your actions, all right? No matter what happens. And answering a call to action creates new opportunities. So there's new opportunities actually hidden in your way, hidden in your direction. Um, we got another 10, a 10 of cups. Everything you plan for has worked out. Um, belonging, happiness, lasting success. Home, feeling blessed, generosity, commitment, and family. So all of these things working out for your highest good. All right, we have a Queen of Swords energy here. Your clear communication expresses what's best for everybody. And we also have a King of Swords, so we have a match here. Somebody may be 45 years old. Somebody could also be 54 years old or born in 54. Um, we also have March 4th, March 5th being there. That's also March 9th, significant or important. So your birthday could be March 9th. Um, somebody wants to either get married or there's a marriage falling apart but again like i said a marriage is a blend okay um so a relationship or a situation that is now over and ended or has ended or is ending all right and most of the time people at tarot because that's the reason why they you know trying to question whatever but i feel like if you're wondering about a person place or thing a cycle has ended a door has closed the window is the window of opportunity because that's how I started this off. Um, somebody had a short window and it is now officially done, done and over with, all right? So somebody's cycle is officially closed out and starting something new, something different. But it's so many things, because uh, I hear so many components to this situation. Um, somebody may have their head in the clouds or somebody's trying to put your head in the clouds because it's almost... Um, and then look at this mountain. So that would be up in the clouds um, or climbing to the top, either one. But we got mountains there. And I hear somebody trying to make a mountain out of a molehill. So somebody's birthday may be February 25th. Um, somebody may, have, may be 52 years old. Somebody may have been born in 52. Um, For some reason, this could be ancestral as well, because what somebody born in 52 would almost be 70. So it could be somebody's grandmother or somebody's father. Um, we have music here, which we talked about music already, significant or important. Um, we have keys, okay? So music is giving me keys, but also keys, physical keys. So music, that the piano is played by keys. So mountains giving me altitude. So 16 keys, which these keys keep giving me King Solomon, the lesser keys of Solomon. Um, and continuing to fight and push forward. So March 4th being there, but then there's four, there's four, four, four here. So seeing synchronicities, um, 
important, but your commitment is being tested. How far are you going to, are you willing to go? Are you willing to go all the way? Because it's almost like climbing a mountain. Um, the altitude is changing or your altitude, you're being elevated is what maybe that is. So the elevation is changing. So ascension moving forward. All right, we got family and tribe here, um, February 20, March 20. All right, so your family or tribe, but which we keep talking about the masculine and the family, because your family tree, there's trees there. Um, and I feel like somebody getting rooted and planted in a situation. Somebody wants to know how teachable you are, but also there's a violin here. So frequencies and keys, definitely important. She's sitting on a BA, but she's also giving me major sex vibes. So how teachable are you March 9th? Like somebody, um, like a mentor, and they're basically teaching you everything. Because now honey is giving me honey pot, like the beehive is giving me honey pot. Um, somebody may like Beyonce, because that's also beehive energy. We got pay attention to the signs. The signs being there, and there's an owl here. And there also looks like there's a lantern, so the number is 10. That's 10, 10, 10 that has happened um, so far. So another completion. Um, owls are wisdom, change, and intuition. So there's things that are changing. Um, and they're saying, look out for the changes. Be acceptable to the changes. Didn't I tell y'all she was giving me sex vibes? So we got sexuality here. Um, and that's another four. So four, 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 four. Lots of fours happening. And that would, again, 16. So, uh is now what that's given and then like i said it was what 16 keys so and i i meant to look that up the other day what was the 16th key um that's the lesser keys so victim consciousness and they're basically saying you're not a victim in anything so anything that was happening was happening for you and not to you because even here it says i'm not a victim that number is three um and this one's 12 so 21 or 34. So February 21st, February 24th, somebody maybe 24 or 20, 24 or 21. Um, also March 12th and March 6th, significant or important. And that would also be what, February 23rd? Okay. Um, either way, so 23, 23 could be significant or important, but also patience. So patient is patience is needed or patience was was needed in this situation. Um, magic being done and also self-love is uh, 24. So February 24th. So being mindful that, you know, this may not be moving as fast as, you know, you want, want it to, but it's actually moving along so things are happening the way they need to happen all right so just know that and trust in that either way i still hear it's time because that's all i can hear somebody saying it's time I still see it. another tower is there. So whatever's happening, there's a tower here. Um, somebody having sleepless nights, um, worry, anxiety, and that could be as to what's about to happen. We got skill mastery, also maybe a copycat energy. So somebody trying to copycat a situation. We got walking away, which that's 88 because that other number was eight. This one's eight. So walking away, leaving something behind. Also abandonment happening. So somebody may feel abandoned by you in a situation. This is another eight. So eight, eight, eight. Significant or important. Somebody trying to keep you tied to a situation. And I don't know if y'all see this, but these cards are not coming out, but they are totally flipping in my hand. So we have something like trying, uh, old memory, nostalgia. Somebody trying to keep you connected to the past. We got a uh, high priestess energy here, the best of both worlds, and also you knowing things that other people don't know and everything is not to be told, okay? So I hear the game is to be told, not told. Or the game is to be something, I don't know, whatever that is. Either way, they don't want you telling all the business. There's endings and here's that anxiety card again. So an ending to you worrying, so things working themselves out, being brought into balance and things changing for you, so... 
things just had to, you know, go the way they needed to go. We have the lover's card here. So a connection, also choosing yourself. That may have been the thing. Your commitment was being tested. Are you going to choose yourself? Are you going to stand up for, you know, what God is telling you to do? Um, are you going to waver? Because again, I'm talking about a female being put in a leadership role and some people are not going to like that or some people don't like that. So ending to, because like I said, I, I keep hearing gender roles or gender roles, gender specific roles or something. Um, men are still men and women are still women. Everybody is, men are still strong. We get it. Y'all are strong. Um, but intellectually, um, it has been proven that women mature faster than men. So I feel like the whole women are emotional type thing. Men are trying to play on that. Women are emotional, but women have actually evolved. So I hear like everything is evolving. So this is another time, a new time to evolve. Um, and you being celebrated and successful in a situation. So victory is on the horizon just continue to keep pushing through and moving forward um let's see what else all right we got um somebody is being deceptive Someone is wearing a mask in this relationship or in this situation. And so it keeps giving me the vibe like there's a person who knows what's happening or what's going on. And they're actually trying to cover it up. So unconditional love. The love between you and your person is eternal. Nothing and no one can take it away from you. It gives me past life vibes and unbreakable love. This person has a genuine love for you. You can overcome any issues that may arise. So there's a new energy that is coming in. And you and this person are... Uh, I said there was a match because there was uh, a king and a queen of swords that was there. So um, I get a powerful connection. Um, a power couple. A very intellectual situation like uh, lots of communication happening um lots of understanding we have indulgence the number is 19 so february 19th or somebody born in 1991 um you are worth every desire every dream demand what's yours and demand what you need so taking your power back um and assuming your position we got february the 27th here um the number is 27 or somebody born in 72 don't just look within, dive deep into the eternal realms of the knowing. And we have goat here, fearless. I am the path I choose. I'm the path I choose for I've never been led astray, always finding my way. And that's what I just said a minute ago. We also have February 29th, somebody born in 92. Trust your body, elevate your spirit, open the gates to renewal, which gives me, again, water magic and water um, energy. But... 13 or 31, so somebody may be 31 years old or March 13th being significant, but making sure that you know, you know, you stay steady on your path. So that was the thing, your commitment being tested because they wanted to make sure that you were not gonna, you know, just allow people to come in and say, you know, oh, they're in control when it's that third. No. All right, somebody is single and not dating. Also, somebody's just not that into you. We also have, I love you more than I could ever really say. Um, here, somebody's initials may be M, first, middle, or last. I did see that. I also see Z, um, first, middle, or last. Somebody may drive a Denali, Tahoe, Yukon, or a Bentley. Um, let's see what else. Somebody's initials may be E, first, middle, or last. Um, something about North America being significant. Um, Cuba is here. Um, somebody may drive a black car, a Chevy, or a Ford. Somebody may live in a big boy mansion. Um, I don't know how to love you properly is important or there. Somebody is blocked. You may have blocked somebody from your energy, your phone, somebody's pathway. Um, literally, I, I didn't just basically unblock everybody that uh, I was blocking on my social media and everywhere else. So, because I don't want to be the cause of nobody being blocked. Guess what? I'm just still not talking to you, regardless of the fact um we got m here first middle or last because that's true restraint knowing that you're unblocked and i still don't give a fuck 
So we have, um, can I have some of your energy? I mean, don't get it wrong. If somebody, you know, get wrong, they still might get blocked, but somebody wants you to pull up on them. Sex is spiritual, but as of now, once freedom actually enacted, March 9th, significant, so born to be or exist, um, that was physically through the womb, mentally through Allah's uh, mathematics or through God. Uh, so, you know, an awakening, a spiritual an awake, awakening. I was just figuring that if I want energy to flow, then I'm going to just open up all all avenues and then we'll figure out what needs to be closed off and what needs to be blocked again okay so <laughs> somebody may be a producer i do see that we got aston martin or mclaren here um somebody may be dealing with a libra but things being brought into balance somebody's potentially doing the most and there was a fail safe mechanism put in place somebody's feeling amazing the number one is there that's individuality fiercely independent independent determined value their free value their freedom or original leadership qualities and are very self-reliant which we have lead the way 12 or 21 there um we live happily ever after and somebody still believes in fairy tales somebody saying i never knew love until i met you somebody wants to have a date night and a surprise for you um somebody may have a drug problem something about washington or maryland so that could be washington dc washington state but Maryland significant or important. Somebody is spying um, and calling you from fake phone numbers. We got a photographer or a videographer. So somebody could be lurking, taking pictures or your picture being significant or important. Somebody said they got, they fucked up. So somebody fucked up something. God loves you. God don't play about you. And that's the truth. Um, and then I say something about time. So about that time, something is time for something to happen. The, the alignments of the universe happening. Your pathway is clear. And somebody was single and they're saying, are you sure you want to do that alone? Do you, um, are you sure you don't want to get, you know, involved in this connection? Um, your divine counterpart is here, Puerto Rico, significant or Hawaii, significant or important. Um, somebody saying, yeah. And somebody saying, I live a life of freedom and abundance is here. Something about South America and you are the best thing that has ever happened to me. Um, South America and Chile is there. It's going to be difficult for you to forgive me. Let's just focus on the past. Somebody is not dating. Somebody's also getting a divorce, and I did say a separation. Uh, uh, something didn't go as planned, and that's when somebody said I fucked up. Um, you may be dealing with a Capricorn. Somebody is totally manifesting a love situation with you, and they've been waiting on you. Um, this is the love of a lifetime, and that's the truth. Um, somebody saying don't cut your hair and there's a new soul contract he, he or she is saying don't cut your hair something about down south is significant or important arkansas alaska new mexico somebody saying for you to worry about yourself and mind your business um somebody is also saying you cast a spell on them somebody feels trapped in a situation trying to spend all their free time with you somebody wants to spend all their free time with you but they feel trapped in a situation elsewhere Greece is significant or important, so y'all are giving me travel. Somebody saying, I appreciate you so much, and I adore you. And good things come to those who wait. A patient seeker will be satisfied in due time. Patience is a virtue. So, and also somebody receiving a new car. You inspire someone, and somebody could have potentially been spiritually trespassing. Somebody wants you to hear them out, and somebody a little sweet they got sugar in a tank somebody wants to go on vacation with you somebody's initials maybe b first middle last um somebody has celebrity status or somebody may be a celebrity and somebody saying i release with no longer what no longer serves me um somebody's letting something go somebody may be accountant an accountant or banking or in banking and financing or somebody's being held accountable in a situation we got denmark there and somebody saying, I'm open to receiving the many gifts that want to come to me. So Pisces, this is the reading. Hopefully it helps. Thank you guys for coming towards my channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and go with God.